Kevin. Hi, how are you? Good. Excuse my voice. I'm a football fan and I lost Sunday, but right. I'm here. How, how old are you? 34. As of mm. yesterday. <laughs> cool. So what do you got for me on the topic? We're talking about All trustworthiness right, or do you have a question? Trust, trustworthiness, trustworthiness. I'll be on topic. Um, so little backstory. Grew up poor. I do well for myself now. Didn't go to college. I'm an entrepreneur. No kids. 34. I think my weight is within a good range. Um, so for me, trust stuff. Um, I dated some people that uh, were not necessarily truthful about being married or not, or there's their are situations with that. I've gotten smarter in that field. But now what I run into are men who uh, lie about maybe their financial status. Or what do you want? Uh, so definitely I would say um, high value man. And the reason you wanna, for that, do, you be, do you want to be married? Yes. You want yes. children? Yes. I mean, so I would say I could do. How many kids? Do you want kids or don't want them? It's it's rather important. I I would love to have a kid. Yeah. There's one. One. Okay. Okay. Um, what state are you in? Uh, I've been in Baltimore a year and a half from Los Angeles, and about to move to Atlanta next year. All right. So high value. Is this because of your socioeconomic status? Why high value man? Um, because in the past I've dated guys who maybe didn't have the same financial lifestyle that I've now grown into. Mm -hmm. And um, they tend to try to compete with me. And well, after you're married, do you want to, after you're married, do you still want to work? Yes. Okay. I love uh, what, Okay. What percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Given the lifestyle that I would love to have, I would say 50%. I'd be okay with up to maybe 70, but 50. All right. So what is this lifestyle that, okay. I'm, I'm cool with lifestyle, but why is lifestyle so important? Because, um, my parents lost everything when I was like a junior, senior in high school. And I saw that they now don't have anything later in life. And that's not a situation I want to be in. All right. So cool. You want to be able to but, but see fear based decisions, fear, scarcity and lack tend yeah. to be wrong headed decisions. Yeah. So great that you're doing well, you're making money, but the kind of man you're talking about, don't tend to want to be the woman to compete with them. No, I don't want to compete with a guy. Well, when you're talking about 50 50, or you want to be responsible for yes. 70 30, uh, 70 percent of the financial load, but are you, are you in a relationship? Are you a submissive woman? Yes. If it's okay. a well, can I preface that may or give a little feedback? So, what I found that there's a certain type of guy that when I meet him, if he uh, has a certain maybe dominant or masculine personality so type, conditional it naturally femininity. puts me in my submissive. Yeah, it's, it's you not, ladies, that's it, is, it, is, it is. You ladies with this conditional femininity stuff. No, it's not. It. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. It's like, it's like saying a man is conditionally masculine. No. You lady, no, no, I know what you're saying, but it's bullshit. It's, some, it's a new wave concept. And I was, I was with you until that. Because here's the thing. If you've been dating men who aren't on your level or not respond a lot about money, 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 finance, 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 fine. You no, get a guy. I've dated what, both. Well, no, no, I'm talking about what motivates you, what what keeps you up at night. This man wasn't wasn't he wasn't uh, honest about his finances and this and that. Okay, fine. How much money would you want your man to make annually? Annually? Hmm? Um, at least. 150, 200K. Uh, and as much as? And as much as? Well, because 150, 200K, that's, that puts you in 150,000, puts you in the top 10%. So. Yeah. All so right. I, but living in Atlanta, living, in Atlanta, I living in Atlanta, living in Atlanta, but living in Atlanta, a guy making $100,000 by himself is doing, he's living pretty nice. 
Yeah. But that's not rich. No. And that's not that's not able to live high on a hog. But a man who's making five hundred thousand. Yeah. He has different requirements. Yes. I he's gonna agree. want he's gonna want a woman who is there for him on yes. his page. So you have your business. Your business uh, is it an interior design? No, I own an advertising agency. Okay. <laughs> All right. So your business. Okay. Well. Yeah. What Same will thing, come, whatever. <laughs> what will come first, though? Your business, oh, his, your child, his. Or, or him? His See, and the child. All right. So here's a problem that many professional women tend to have. Because you, whatever your past relationships issues were, I'm asked the same question. Have you sat down with a professional? Had you counseling or therapy? Yes. Um, Pat Allen is who I've done some counseling with. All right. And then how, when was your last relationship? Uh, about six months ago. Seven how months. Long, how long did that last? Six months. The one prior to that was four years. Mm. And why didn't you guys go the distance? He was significantly younger and uh, mm -hmm. a Peter Pan. And I, I chose wrong in that situation. So and how I long ago was that? I turned 30 when I left that. I just mm. turned 34. So since then, I've had only very small relationships. All right. So you got to go back to your long relationship. You picked a younger guy. Yes. Somebody that you could control. I know. Have you ever been in a relationship with somebody who could tell you to shut up? Yes. How long did it last? It lasted maybe six months. <laughs> okay. Understand a high value man, you're going to live and shut the up. I know that. You'll wake up and shut the up. You go to sleep and shut the up. You open the refrigerator and shut the up. That's how it's going to be. Shut the up because. I understand. And I'm saying this so people can understand because high value men, they, you, you, it's okay to be a professional woman, intelligent, mm -hmm. educated, and so forth, but you are an asset to him. Yes. So having a, 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 a career in advertising, that could be beneficial to a guy. Yeah. But where have you in your adult life actually practiced being a cooperative, submissive woman to a man on that level? So I would say for me, I just turned 34, right? Mm -hmm. I would say I started heavily practicing that at 31. I started getting into the psychology of relationships, listening to people much like you. Right. But, but you've only had six months relationships though, right? The longest one you've had. I would say yes. And okay. I have only dated two people who I would say are a high value man since then. And I took lessons from them, learned from it. I'm definitely improving on what I need to do. I currently am talking to someone who I think is a high value man. And what's interesting- Are you guys is, in the same city? We are not. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty I, I know what you ladies are. You, you're yeah. in the same category, same thing. Yeah. White, black, Hispanic, Asian, or other. You're all the same, pretty professional problem. Look, at the end of the day, these long distance relationships where you keep yourself safe. I'm glad you've had, I'm glad you got your therapy, but you're the kind of woman yeah. I'm going to be focusing on for the rest of the year. Because yeah. if you ladies don't learn how to trust and actually yeah. be vulnerable and actually go all in, you're going to miss your window. At 34, yeah. you've got about another two years. I know. Two years. And this is when you need to start studying you're the kind of men you say you want to be with and understand what they want because you're competing with all the women around that man and your competition gets younger, hotter, thinner, more cooperative, more submissive yeah. every day because they're listening to this kind of content too and they got you beat by about seven years. Yeah. Uh, I would suggest um, are you working with a matchmaker? Yes. Um, right. That's the last uh Two matches I mentioned were through a matchmaker, and they were phenomenal matches. All right. Sure. Well, I mean, you're you're pretty much right down that target area, so you can. You I'm putting well, it up. I promise. I'm trying. Well, well, I know I, that's the reason I'm going to be doing this because there are a lot of women who fit your category, a lot of black women who fit your category, a lot of non-black women who fit your category. Who, the rest of this year, you might as well get, grab a bottle of wine, some Xanax, some popcorn, some tissue. Because uh, I'm going to be talking about y'all. Because yeah. if you learn how to get on board, it's more likely to get the outcomes you want. 
But eventually, you got to get around the kind of me you're talking about, and you got to risk and go all in. All right. So that's why I'm a, moving because the atmosphere where I live, they ain't here. So I'm just oh, like moving a little bit. You moving to Atlanta? Welcome to a competition area. That's uh, cool. I'm cool with competition. All right. Thanks. All right. It was nice seeing you, Kevin. Bye. Bye bye. All right. So, guys, I'm going to tell you this right now. This whole thing, this whole pretty professional thing, there are a lot of women who fit in this category. And for those who are willing to do the work, like the one sister I talked to on my channel with the short hair, um, I think they will have the, I think you can reach a tipping point with women like that. But it's going to be fierce competition. And, I'm, and when I say that, shut the fuck up. It's not to be rude, but it's serious. Men, men are simple. Men are different. All right, I'm going to take a couple more, and I'm going I'm to bounce. Uh, Keith? I think you bounced on here before. I'm going to pull her up. Um, Friday, ladies, Friday on YouTube, I'm going to be talking about how to shoot your shot with high-value men. A lot of you ladies are going to have to learn how to shoot your shot. Cause some of y'all's some of y'all uh some of y'all's game is trash. You've been relying on your looks too long and, and stepping to a man that you want requires more than just uh hi, I'm cute. No, 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 no. You have to learn how to shoot your shot. Uh, what? Oh god, what's going on here? Um feminine women who are great. Being aggressive and assertive while maintaining femininity is women who will win. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We don't do that. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We don't do that. Women who are feminine, but but learn how to be assertive and aggressive. Assertive. Women who are feminine but can still be assertive. Uh, learning how to differentiate themselves from the competition are women that win. So Friday, ladies, you'll want to tune in. Okay, I think I'm going to be kind of done with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, choice, Q and A. See who's watching. I'm judging book. All right, cool. Good show. Join in tomorrow night on YouTube's. YouTube is going to be cracking tomorrow night. I promise you that. Because we'll be talking about <clears throat> we'll be talking about the Will and Jada situation. Um, look, I know a lot of folks wanted to discuss this. We're going to get that done. And Will and Jada on Friday, on Wednesday, on Friday, uh, how to shoot your shot. Because um, some of you ladies, I'll be honest, y'all be in the DMs with, with weak ass, with this dry DMs. Winking and like y'all gonna have to learn how to sh come on Friday, um, because the women who shoot their shot leapfrog the women who sit back like this. Trust me. So uh, probably the second or third week in October we're gonna have another uh, men's week. So when I do the men's content, I'm going to give plenty of leeway and heads up so you guys can understand what's about to go on cool man this was good this was great um tomorrow 10 o'clock youtube till next time peace we're gone hello hello, hello. how are so you I'm watching your channel for a while now hold on hold on, hold on. hi hi uh, how old are you? I'm 29. Okay. What do you got? So I've been watching your channel for a while now, and there's one big thing that I do agree on. There's a lot of um, women that do come on, and you'll ask them a question. One of the questions that I like that you ask is that um, you ask them how much they want to be responsible for in the relationship. And most of the time, you 
ask that question and they say they don't want to be responsible for any of the financial responsibility. Okay. So. Are you single or are you married? No, I'm actually engaged. Okay. So, uh, go ahead. So, yeah. Um, and then I thought about it uh, and I'm like, we're ingrained to think that we're not supposed to come up with anything, that the man is supposed to provide everything. And like you were saying, we're supposed to just enter the relationship and mm -hmm. just accept the gifts. Do you have any kids? But, huh? Any children? Yes, I have one. Okay. How long have you guys been engaged? Uh, about maybe six months now. Okay, cool. When's the wedding? April of next year. Cool. Cool. So, well, the West has told women that you're the prize. Yes. And mm. also, the generations before me were taught that they teach our generation that we're supposed to just accept things and not really the standard of what we're supposed to be giving back. So that's one thing I wanted to ask you as well. So in my relationship, it works really well because um, I feel like I'm also responsible for 50%. I don't believe that it's always 100% on him. And responsible for 50%? Uh, okay. What's, what's the overall question? Because that's one thing you ladies do. Y'all take a long time to get to the point. Yeah, so What's my the, what, view is that um, for the generations before us, is mm -hmm. it okay to expect 50%? Because I'm hearing that it's not okay. To whoa, 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 whoa. Is it okay to expect 50 I don't understand. Oh, so for me, I expect myself, I expect that for me to give into the relationship, I have to work. Okay. I don't, I'm okay with working for okay. forever. I'm okay. okay. Well, and you have to be. Right. So I'm told that from previous generations, from people that are older than me, that it, that's not okay. Well, yeah, it is. Well, are these women married? Yes. Well, they're foolish. <laughs> I mean, number one, uh, is the man you're marrying your child's father? No, he is not. Well, then you actually need to bring more than 50%. Mm -hmm. I mean, see, you're coming into the marriage with a child. Right. So, yeah, you got to work mm -hmm. because if you weren't getting married, you'd have to work. Right. Um, the women who told you ladies set you guys up to be unmarried and single for the rest of your life because 72% of mothers in this country work full or part time. Right. So I don't understand why any woman would tell you ladies just because you were born female that a man should have to get out of here and work to provide when it takes two incomes and that's not even enough. Well, for my situation, they make it about the age because he's a little bit older than I, don't, I do. Okay, then they're stupid. Mm -hmm. does, that, does it even sound like that makes sense to you? No, that's why I'm asking you. Okay, and my question is, my question is this. Why are you listening to these ladies? Well, that's why I'm asking you, because obviously you're older than I am. So you have more wisdom. I, I got more wisdom, right. but uh, you, you stick your hand in a fire. You one or 102. You don't need to be too wise to know that's hot. Because mm -hmm. what that what these women are saying, does it even make any sense? Right. And I, I know you did a segment on um, the fact that women have a need to have to get married. It's not. An but, but well, you're not answering my question. Mm -hmm. The women, what these ladies are telling you, does it even make sense? For me, no. Okay, then why are you paying attention to these ladies at all? Because they're older than me and I'm thinking that they Okay, well, they're older than you. Is it your mama, your grandma, your aunt? Who are these people? All of the above. And are all these women married? Yes. And what do their husbands say? Their husbands are um, the opposite of what you just described in the earlier segment. They're actually more su submissive to the women. To they their to themselves. So you got a bunch of beta males married to a bunch of dominant women. Do you, do, you want, do you want your husband to act like them? I don't. Then get away from them. Yes, I have, actually. That's why I'm asking you. because I I've already answered the question. Here's the hard part. 
you ladies are going to have to get away from your families. Period, point blank, end of sentence. If you're engaged, you need to leave and cleave. You know whether you have the wisdom or not, what those women are telling you is a bunch of hogwash. You can see their husbands are submissive to the women. Is that how other cultures work? No. Okay. Then get away from them. Okay, if they were drug dealers and gang bangers, mm -hmm. would you hang out with them? No. Then think of them as that. Right. But because you because you have reverence for women, that's my mama, that's my grandma, that's my auntie. So what? They still wrong. I just wanted to ask you because we we have moved away from our family and I don't talk to my family. That's why I'm asking you. Okay, because well. You're planning on good. Getting Buried, and I just wanted to ask that, you know, because I you have, you have two families: the families you are born into, and the family you choose. Look, man, family. We don't have a family that supports healthy relationships. And what you're describing is a bunch of women who are dominating men, and a bunch of men who are subservient to women. That's not going. That no, no community respects that. So, I'm sorry that that's that's the way it is, but it's not uncommon. Leave, cleave, move on. Go make some. Go make healthier uh, relationships with other women because that won't serve you. Right. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, and, and what I say is that's hard because a lot of women want to stay close to their family. All right. Uh, I'm going to block you too. Because I said, if you're a guy and you come back in here and request to be on here, I'm going to start blocking you guys. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. How old are you? I'm 23. All right. What do you got on the topic? Um, I just want to know, um, what would you say to a 23-year-old that wants to get married and settle down? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Why do you want to get married? Um, because I don't want to be like in my late twenties, no man, no kids. Mm -hmm. Like I want to be able to like break the generational curse of not having like marriages, you know? No. Okay. What was your mo okay. What does your father say? Uh, my father wasn't in my life. All right. How many children does your mother have? She has five. But how many different men? Like three. And where are you at in the birth order? I'm like the second oldest, which is the first guy that she... Okay. So it, it's fair to say that you were not raised to be a wife. Okay. I mean, your mother was not a wife. She was having children and dating and doing her thing. Mm -hmm. A woman with five kids by three different men Ain't really, ain't really mothering her kids. She's having kids. Mm -hmm. Is that accurate, inaccurate, precise? That's Was accurate. She... All right. So then at 23, what is marriage, in the, when is marriage the institution going to do to change the generational curses you're talking about? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Could you reiterate on that? Just well, little? you said you want to get married, and I asked you why. You said to break these generational curses. Right. Okay. All right. Marriage is a piece of paper in a ceremony. Mm-hmm. What's that piece of paper in a ceremony going to do to break those deep-seated psychological or generational curses? It's, gonna, it's not really going to do anything. Honestly. Right. Right. Because you take you into marriage. Right. So if you have to become a wife and understand what that means, and then understand what your role is as a woman in a marriage. Getting married doesn't change who you are. Mm. Well, it may not be what you want to hear, uh -huh. but you have to, have you had any therapy yourself? I have when I was younger, but my mom stopped me from going, so. Okay. Are you in college? I graduated with my dental assistant certification. And where do you live? 
You live with your I mother? Huh? I live by myself. I live in Atlanta. Okay. Is your mother in the area? Yeah, she is. I, I'm gonna tell you, you. I'm gonna tell you, ladies. Your biggest, some of you ladies' biggest issues is your mothers. Mm-hmm. Um. So this is why I recommend sitting down with a therapist because you got a lot that you got to talk through. Being one of five children from three different men, I, I, without I, my guess is you haven't seen any healthy relationships. Your mother didn't model them. So how are you gonna go out and have anything that you didn't see? Right. So that's why you're asking me at 23. I can't, I can't tell you what to do except you got to, unfortunately, at 23, you're not your mother's responsibility anymore. What you didn't get is your responsibility. Mm-hmm. Um, first thing I would suggest is therapy. Okay. And I would, I would not tell and I would not share with your mother that you're going because more likely than not, she's going to feel some kind of way. And she's going to, and most women think that their kids go into therapy to talk bad about them. You can do this for yourself. So I hope that helps. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, and see, the thing is, I feel for a lot of young ladies thinking that just getting married is going to change something. Hey, uh, Bill, whatever your name is, cancel your request, man, because I'm I'm going to block it if it's not canceled. 